<laughs> it's my birthday. You're not really that close. Uh, Taking myself, my Lincoln Town car, and this mail to the post office. Well, I've really done it this time. On the left, ThinkPad T60 with an old 600 by 1200 flex view pulled out of a 2004 T42P. So, pragmatically, it, it is a screen I've used before. It's getting a little old, it's red on the warm up. Otherwise, still works fine. On the right, not that, this. This is the Holy Grail. This is a T60 lid that has been modified with the Quad XGA 2048x1536 display that was only ever offered for sale in ThinkPad R50P from 2002. And, uh, I mean, IBM Lenovo kept selling R50P all the way through 2005, so I don't know how long the option was offered. I wasn't really paying attention back then, but it was a fairly uh, special, unique option. That's a lot of pixels, 2048 by 1536. It's it's uh, more than ever offered in a T61P or T500. It's a lot, and uh, the hard work's already been done. It's already been put in a lid that I can just swap onto this. Once I throw this on, I'll have seen everything. Just so long as we're back in here, I can show uh, the uh, PC, mini PCIe to USB adapter. It's at, this is actually just a USB port, and all this does is it turns it into Type A. And then this here is a special uh, USB Type-A based wireless card where they actually put antenna plugs on it, so that's that. In here I've got, this is originally the wireless slot, got a mini PCIe to M keyed M2 adapter. And uh, this does actually have mini PCI Express lanes in it, for the, and it's for the wireless card, but now I've got a solid state drive in there, so... That's how I got two drives in this machine. Could even cram in a third drive into the express card slot. If I had the rare um, T60 T40 era Ultra Bay drive adapter, could have another drive in here. But those are very hard to find. Someone was actually selling one on the ThinkPad form recently, but I chose not to snag it because I don't need it. And something I always do before yanking off the lid or the lid cable on any ThinkPad is take out the battery, take out the charger. Uh, you can keep the CMOS battery, that's fine. BIOS battery can stay in. Main battery, charger, they have to come out. Then I pump the power button a few times just to drain the caps because these things are very prone to blowing the backlight fuses, any stray electricity still in the board can just pulling out the cable has a tendency to short something and then boom, you need to change your backlight fuse. I've done the repair successfully once on a on my own T500 back in the day. It took me three tries and uh, it was a pain. So it's a little bit of insurance to prevent such things from happening is appreciable because it's just, it's annoying. I the last thing I want to do is change a change a backlight fuse on this thing. I don't have not exactly equipped to handle soldering right now. Or I'd be messing with the car. All sorts of fun things I'd love to do with that. So it looks like uh my friend from the gentleman who I purchased this lid from looks like they put some sort of screen protector on it. Fair enough. They also put a like a new coating on the back of the lid. It's grippier than the original. Um, I mean, this is ugly. I, I don't like these bubbles, but also, I mean, it's, I get why they're there. It's a rare screen, probably worth more than the laptop. So I get it, protect it, I get it. But first things first, I should really just, power this thing on and see what it do. So I'll put the keyboard back in. Hello world. 
That's not good. Well, it turns out it works after all. Um, once you get to OS, at least, um, it scares the crap out of me. Huh. Wish I could have told me about that sooner, but I mean, it's up, it's got windows. Okay, here we go. Twenty forty-eight by fifteen thirty-six. Unpleasant realities of the QXG mod, at least as it is now. When I run mod info, it does pull up edited information, so I'm assuming there is edited information in this screen. I, as you notice, booting up on the BIOS, I just get vertical lines. If I press function space to use full screen magnifier, I get vertical lines. If I uh, start up uh, Airfix Dogfighter, then there's just nothing there. There's this space where there should be data, but there's nothing there, so I have to type the cheat code to crash the program. Uh, actually, yeah, that's really funny. I'm going to show that. The cheat code to just instantly crash Airfix Dogfighter is you type go gates, and it crashes the program. There's a good chance that the need for speed will also just not work. Oh, yeah. yeah. One other thing I don't like. When they uh, put the this new grippy coating on the lid, it covers up the status indicators. I, I actually, I use the status indicators. And so I would rather have them. And this here is why every time I try to ask an oral surgeon or an orthodontist to just put my teeth where they belong, it's like, oh no, it's too risky. We don't want to jig up your face. It's too risky. And I'll tell you why. So, as a consequence of doing the surgery, then doing, reversing it, my antenna adapters failed. They, the connectors actually just broke off. Uh, here they are. So, do what I can do. I can go on eBay or Amazon and buy more. Or I can cannibalize my X230, which also has an antenna adapter, and just take it out, because I'm not using it anyway. And here I've got the an AX Wi-Fi X card, modified card. And I used to have a screen antenna card in here, which is why I had this extender to extend this cable and the only reason why it's this cable, which, you know, if it was a factory cable, it would run all the way anyway, but, I mean, then, so this was a modified X230. The guy who modified it obliterated the factory cables. I put my own antennas in here. This one's a cable out of a T500, so it winds up being too short, so that's why I bought the cable extender. And then I don't need it anyway, because of the two antennas. Well, now I need it. I'm taking it, throwing it in there, um... There's an alternate routing for this this antenna cable to just get there, and I warped the fan heatsink a bit so the fan stops making noise. Yeah. What can I say? I'm resourceful. I make do with what I got. All right, that's done. So that cable's going that way. That cable's going this way. And I'm thinking I'm going to throw this wireless N 
into the X230 because this is running 10, which is, I think, starting from Windows 8 up, is the first Windows is that support Wi-Fi X. Wi-Fi X just does not work on 7, but I like 7, and I'm probably going to put 7 back on the 230 because I like 7 more. So I'm going to throw wireless N back in here just for legacy compatibility. I don't like 10. 10 sucks. Right. That's what I want to see. Crap. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Alright, a few hours later, I've actually uh, gone and put the QXGA into the R60, and this was actually better because the screen actually is working, at least at the BIOS level at DR60. Like, it showed the splash screen and everything, and... Yeah, there we go. Windows. Windows Vista. Yeah. Cool beans. Oh. The job is done. Quad XGA, I peeled the protective layer off. It was annoying. And I think I know why. It just works better in this R60 rather than the T60. The T60 uses ATI video, and ATI drivers suck. I've had other strange issues with the ATI chipsets and other ThinkPads. For example, Z60M with uh, ATI X600. I upgraded that machine to 9020 by 1200 and it just refused to work. There was just no support for it. Um, and again, I put this QXGA into the T60, and as you saw, it was not working. There was stripes and stuff. Whereas in the R60, I put it in, and it just works. And it's actually just working a lot better. So I'm gonna posit that the issue is with the ATI video. Because this R60 has uh, Intel graphics, and like with the GMA950, and everything's just working a lot nicer here. It's fluid. I, if I... I reboot, and I will, just to show it, show the ThinkPad splash screen, like, it's there, it's gonna work, and I can get into BIOS and stuff. There we go, yeah. Like, I wouldn't be able to do this on, the, on that T60 as it is. Don't know why, and uh, doesn't really matter why. But, yeah, oh, here everything is. Everything's good, so, yeah. I guess I'll just, uh, I took the passwords off just in case I'd have any grief, but I'll throw them on back now, and, uh, that means I'm gonna pan this away, but I suppose that concludes my, uh, getting to live with, uh, the holy grail of ThinkPad IPS screens, Quad XGA, 2048 by 1536. Only thing I've got with more screen is my... P71 with the 4K and also this here, the X2 modified X230 with 2 by 60 by 1600. So yeah, this here is a uh, quite a lot of quite a lot of virtual real estate. A big fan of that.